Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for your next PB&J card class. And today I'll be making a set of tags featuring one of our creative dyes, Winter Slumber, and that is the that beautiful tree that you see on every single tag. And I will be also be showing you how to create a hinge tag. So it's a very simple fold technique, but it's really fun to be able to give the tag as a card or have a place to write a message on the inside of the tag if you're attaching it to a gift bag. So here's a look at that winter slumber die, and all of the tags are cut from our creative die tagged. So to begin, I'm going to, I die cut several tags, and I'm just going to spray them. I wanted to have some fun with my spray inks from Shimmers, and so I'm going to do all of that at the beginning. I'm working with the colorings ink spray inks and these are a non shimmering ink that have really beautiful bold vibrant colors and I'm spraying on two tags that were die cut from watercolor paper um, this one I'm starting with a little water first and then I'm spraying into that now I've made six tags and at the end of this video I've listed the individual colors for each tag so that if you see one you like and you want to recreate the look you can find all of the exact colors used specific to that tag and these I'm just spraying, I put them onto an old uh, washcloth so that as I'm spraying that can soak up some of the excess ink. And I move my hand across in a, in a continuous motion sometimes when I'm spraying in order to get a smooth spray. But if I want some droplets, then I just very lightly press down on the sprayer and let those droplets appear on the tag. I really like the texture that the spraying adds. It's also a quick way to get a nice base of color onto your project. And it's just fun to spray and see the different colors mix and blend together. You could also do this with shimmering spray inks as well. Like I said, these ones are a flat ink and I like the vibrant color that that provides to the project. Now I'm going to be adding inks on top of these. So these are a nice base color and texture beneath and then I can add the inks and the distressing to the top, which I'll show all of that here throughout the video. So I set all of those aside to dry and once they were dry I was ready to do my inking on top. So for this tag I've cut just a small mask using a circle punch from just typing paper, put it down with some removable adhesive so it easily comes up and now I'm adding some ink on top and I'm using an ink blending tool with a foam pad and that's what I'll be using for all of these inks on top here. And this first color is Teal Zeal, it's a memento ink and then I will also add gray flannel towards the bottom of the tag. And I'm sort of matching up the colors to those that I sprayed onto the tag, but just deepening those and adding even more depth to the tag. And when we remove that, you can see the little bit of the moon showing. So here's that die cut tree, Winter Slumber. I just love this tree. And I used some other items to embellish each of these tags. So that bird is from the creative die set, The Gathering and all of those supplies are also listed at the end of the video. Now to adhere the tree down I just put a few drops of glue onto the different branches and I adhered that down and I hand cut a snowbank and that's what I've done for all of these tags and I just put a little bit of that gray flannel distress ink onto the top of that and adhered it to my tag. Then I also went back and stamped my sentiment and here's a look at that finished tag and all of the sentiments are stamped using our Festive Wishes transparent set. It's a really handy set to have. Now for this second tag, here I am applying some ink. I started with Ranger Archival ink, Forget Me Not, and then I, I'm adding Olive Grove Memento ink. And I chose these inks based on the color that I wanted. Since I wasn't adding, doing any more technique with the ink once it was applied, I just picked the colors that I preferred and kind of matched up with those spray inks that I used on the background. Now for this tag I want to do some stamping and I'm using this tree here just for placement of my stamp and this is our set. This is called Woodland Beauty and I love these different images in here. They're great for creating these nature scenes. I'm stamping this in my Misty so I can get a couple of impressions to deepen the color, but you certainly could stamp this using a typical acrylic block as well. And I'm stamping that with the Olive Grove Memento ink, and that's that same color of ink that I used on the background of the tag. 
And I'm going to just move this around and reposition it so that this image sort of goes along the left-hand side of the tag and then a little bit lower and less down as it moves, moves down the right-hand side of the tag. Now you'll see on this finished tag, I switched out that green tree for a white one because once I added the stamping, it was just a little bit too busy with the green tree and the green background stamping. And I'm not worried about what that stamping looks down at the base of the tag. I'm more worried at the top because I have another hand cut snow bank that I'll just be covering up the very base of the tag with. Once I had that stamped and decided I wanted to darken up that inking on the background. So that's that same olive grove ink and I'm just going over the top of the stamping. And here's where I was trying that uh, darker tree but I decided on the lighter one. With the snow bank, I'm putting that olive grove just along the very top of that and the finished tag. I added some birds from the Gathering Creative Die Set and also the sentiment from Festive Snippets. Now for this third tag, I'm using the Distress Ink colors of Picked Raspberry, Wild Honey, and I'll use a little bit of Vintage Photo onto the little heart that you'll see here in just a minute. This I think turned out to be my favorite tag. I like the texture that was provided by the spraying, and by putting these Distress Inks on top, they're a transparent ink, so it tints the color, but you can still see that great texture from the spray inks, especially over there on the right hand side. And here's that vintage photo distress ink. I put that on the snow bank and also here on this heart. The heart was part of the die cut from the set What's in Your Cup. It's a great size and shape of heart. I really like that. So I'm keeping this, the die cutting simple on this tag, but I wanted to add that snowy background. So I've been using the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus Watercolors. This is the titanium white. Just sticking my paintbrush in there and splattering it onto the background. Very easy, but gives it a really fun effect. And here's the finished tag with the stamp sentiment and everything put together and heared on. Now for this next tag, I this is number four, I am going to do some inking, but first I put down a mask, and this was just punched from some typing computer paper and adhered down with some removable adhesive. And I wanted to give the look of just the sun kind of rising off in the distance. And the colors of Distress Ink I'm using here are Rusty Hinge, Spice Marmalade, and Fossilized Amber. Starting with the Rusty Hinge, Kind of working that way up, then I added the spice marmalade and then the fossilized amber on top. And when I peel that up, you can see the spray ink color from below. Here's the little snow bank, and I'm putting just a touch of that rusty hinge distress ink on there and that creative dye winter slumber. And before I adhered that down, I decided to add some stamping, and this is from our transparent set spread cheer. There's a whole collection of birds on that transparent set, and I just cut a few of them apart. You can easily piece them back together, but I like the freedom that gives to use those on a card, just a few of them. Now I colored with a Tombow Distress or Tombow marker onto my acrylic block, just mixed in some water and splattered the background to tie in with the sentiment that I had stamped in brown ink. And here's a look at that finished tag. Now next I'll be doing tag number five. And this might be my second favorite one of the group, I think. I'm using Seedless Preserves and Picked Raspberry Distress Inks on top. Starting with those Seedless Preserves and then putting the Picked Raspberry up near the top. and putting a touch of that picked raspberry onto the snow bank. On the finished tag, I ended up adding a second little snow bank by the deer, and you'll see that. Now here I just adhered those, or held down those creative dies in the snow bank with the magnets in the misty so that I could see where I wanted to place these snowflakes. 
And these are from the Mary Jingle Transparent Set. And I inked the first one with the Seedless Preserves Distress Ink, the same color we inked on the background. Now this one I'm doing with the Picked Raspberry. And then the third one I'm back to the Seedless Preserves Distress Ink to stamp that. It gives a nice sort of tone-on-tone -tone look for those snowflakes. I also die cut just a couple of little snowflakes from our Blizzard Creative die set and added those with some pearls. And finally we are to tag number six and for this tag I'm using Memento Teal Zeal ink and Danube Blue. Putting a very light layer over the top but I love again you can see that texture from the spray inks showing through. And I'm going to use that same snowflake take technique here for a snowy background using the Do Dr. PH Hydrus watercolors, Dr. PH Martin's Hydrus watercolors. Just getting messy here with a few splatters. And I finish this off with some creative dye snowflakes from Frosty Snow and another stamp sentiment from the Festive Wishes set. Now I wanted to show you how to create that hinged look. So I took my tag that I had completed and I just adhered it to a second tag. That way none of the paint splatters or anything from the back would show. It looks nice and crisp and clean. And then with this tag I'm just going to score this. Um, I think I do here about an inch and a quarter down but you could do whatever works for you. You just want enough that you can get some good adhesive up at the top. So I'm going to apply my adhesive. I'm just using double-sided tape only above that scored line. Then I'll put the finished tag right on top. Excuse my head there. And now you have that great hinge tag design. You could also add a ribbon or twine up at the top and it will still open perfectly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I had such a great time spraying and stamping and using my creative dies to create this set of hinge tags. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as our blog and website, and I will link to all of those down in the YouTube description box below. And stay tuned here. I have three sets of supplies that I've listed out to try and make things as easy as possible for you if you're recreating the same look.